Hey, I got another film swap video for you here today. My man Chris over at Film Was More Fun reached out and asked me if I wanted to do a film swap. And I said, sure, sign me up. So here's how this worked. Chris shot a roll of Fuji Superior 400 at 800 in his Nikon EM, then rewound the roll and sent it to me so I could shoot that same roll at 800 in my Nikon EM, giving us all kinds of funky, unpredictable double exposures. But wait, there's more. Next, I shot a roll of T-Max 400 at 800 in my Canon Rebel Ti, rewound that roll, and then sent it off to Chris so he could shoot that same roll at 800 in his Nikon F3, again, giving us all kinds of serendipitous double exposures. I developed the color roll, he developed the black and white roll, and then we shared the images with each other. Chris has a video called Film with Friends that features some of these images and some shots he got with some other film swaps as well. I've got a link for Chris's channel in the description. Make sure you check it out. All right, now I'm going to share some highlights from both roles with you, starting with the Fuji Superior and wrapping up with the T-Max. Stick around after the images and I'll share with you the one thing that surprised me most about this film swap.
I was pretty happy with the shots we got. As always, my favorites either had a lucky instance of things lining up just right, a mix of rural and urban, cool textures, or ironic juxtapositions. I'm not surprised at all that Chris used some funky filters and lights in a lot of these shots because he likes a lot of weird experimental stuff like I do. But I was surprised by one thing. The frames and our black and white shots lined up perfectly. Keep in mind we both used the exact same model of camera, the Nikon EM, to shoot that roll of Superior but the frames on the color roll didn't line up that great. It was the roll of T-Max, where we used two completely different cameras, one Canon, one Nikon, that lined up perfectly. Just goes to show you, with the film swap, you really never know what you're gonna get. Now I wanna give a long overdue thanks to Ruben Robles, who sent me a very generous donation through my coffee account a few months back. Thanks again, Ruben. And for those of you who have reached out and asked me about different ways to support the channel, now there's a new option called Super Thanks, and unlike the coffee account, you don't even need to leave YouTube. You just look for the Super Thanks button by the thumbs up and share buttons underneath the video, and you can make a one-time donation of $2, $5, $10, or if you've got money to burn, even $50. You'll see a one-time animation when you donate, and it'll color code your comment so it stands out from the others. Of course, the best free ways to support the channel are to hit the like button and binge watch more of these videos. If you want to catch the rest of my film swap videos, you can click on the playlist popping up on the screen now. And until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.